anytime you need to copy information down a column, whether it be a formula or text or a value, it's nearly always more efficient to double-click the lower right-hand corner instead of either dragging the corner or using lengthy edit, copy, paste techniques. So in this particular worksheet in cell L2 is a formula here that's simply increasing the compensation amount from K2 by 3.73%. That's in cell N1, and here's the formula. We want to copy this down the column. So rather than dragging from the corner, we'll simply double-click the lower right-hand corner. I think right away the question that would come into your mind is, well, how far did this get copied? Anytime you're copying data down a column using this technique, if it's more than a screen full, press control period. You want to see how far that got copied. Maybe scroll just a little bit more to confirm that it went to the bottom of your list. You can press control period again to go back up top. Over in columns Q and R, we've got similar kinds of data, but let's say we want to put in a month here. Now, if we put in January or JAN, Excel recognizes this as a special kind of entry. We can double click the lower right hand corner here and Excel simply fills this in with subsequent months. If we had more numbers down here, by the way, after December, we'd simply see January, February, March all over again. That's an unusual case. If it's just pure text, we'll get the same text over and over and over again. Maybe all but a couple of these months are gonna have a 5% rate. So we can just put in 5% right here and double click the lower right hand corner. Later, maybe we'll adjust one of those. So double clicking the lower right hand corner allows us to copy values or text or formulas very rapidly down a list. And sometimes the list is huge. This is a great time saver. Unfortunately, there's no corresponding shortcut for quickly copying data across a row.